Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Cardi. Now look, make sure y'all boys drop a like on this video right now. Do not skip any part of this video and I'm going to be plugging y'all with the best ways to make VC in this game. I know it's late in the year, y'all want to get your VC up and buy everything you can before the end of the year. Uh, there's not much to post. I'm probably going to be dropping a PC video. If y'all get this to 100 likes, I will go crazy with like a celebrity in the parking stage and drop a PC video and just troll around and drop a funny ass video. Get this to 100 likes and I got y'all boys. Comment down below what rapper or celebrity you want me to be. Because I can be anybody. I can be Drake, Quavo, Travis Scott, Ronnie, the baby. It doesn't matter, bro. I can be any of them. And I can look exactly like them. Same tats and everything. Also, at the bottom of the screen, follow my TikTok. If you follow my TikTok, I'm going to do a $200 giveaway on Cash App. Follow my TikTok at the bottom of the screen. Screenshot it. And comment on my YouTube video your name and DM me on Twitter to make sure that I see it. Alright? So, yeah. Do all that. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Spam with that 12K. Cardi, make sure y'all sub up. We're close to 12K. Make sure y'all sub up, man. Tomorrow, when my phone stand comes in, I'm going to stream on youtube and tiktok i'm probably gonna do just a tiktok stream for the first day and then like as i keep building viewers up on tiktok then i might go live on youtube but right now i haven't really been live on youtube because the game is dead and i don't like playing 2k to be honest i'm probably gonna play pc 2k tomorrow so yeah make sure y'all boys come through watch that stream and all that type of stuff all right make sure you come through watch that stream make sure you drop a like on this video and yeah watch the video all the way through comment if you're a new sub and i will say thank you i appreciate it make sure you know these on going into 2k22 we're gonna go crazy my boy and yeah, let's get right into this banger, man. Let's get it. All right, boys. Now, one of the most important things in this year's game is probably saving your VC. I, right, if you're going to stack your VC, it's just like money, bro. If you're going to save your money, if you're going to stack your money, you got to save money to make money. I mean, not make money, but save money to, to stack your money. You know what I'm saying? To stack your money, you got to be able to save it. If you keep spending it, then you're not going to you're not going to get a bunch of it, obviously. So, one of the things I like to do is I like to, first of all, save my VC and don't spend on dumb shit, okay? Don't spend, like, obviously, I had VC out the ass. I can spend on what I want to spend it on. But if you have 1K, don't be out here trying to go buy clothes as soon as they drop, bro. You're just going to go poor doing that shit. You're just going to go poor, like, literally. Don't be out here dropping 10, 15K on a fucking shirt because you're tired of the shirt you're wearing. Just keep rocking it. Keep stacking your bread. That's what you got to do. But what I do every single day is I come in here and I spin my wheel, okay? I'm starting off with the easy, you know what I'm saying, simple, least amount of VC methods. And then we're going to build up and keep building up and keep building up to the most VC, like the ones that you will be getting the most VC for, you know what I'm saying? So you need to come in here and at least spin your wheel, okay? You need to at least spin your wheel once or twice or the elite wheel twice, depending on what you are, what rep you are, okay? So... I come in here all the time. I'll just spin it. You know what I'm saying? If I get VC, cool. If I get Gatorade, cool. I didn't have to spend my money on Gatorade. That's how I look at it. If I got, if I get Boost, cool. I didn't have to spend my money on Boost. As you can see, I'm about to get VC. All right. Even though it's probably not going to be a lot, 500 VC, bro. It's 500 VC. You feel me? Some of y'all are real deal broke. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's not a big deal. I don't really care that I got 500 VC. Like you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even have cared if I didn't come in here. But like some of y'all it is important you know what i mean and i come in here for the double rep i come in here for the two hours times v or the two times vc you know what i'm saying i'm about to get boosts you see what i'm saying i'd have to spend my money on those boosts right, let's see how many i get i got 15 boosts per category 15 boosts per category is a bag okay i'm telling you right now it is a bag whatever you if you bought 15 boosts per category that is a bag bro i'm telling you that's at least 30k so you just saved 30k you just made 30,500 vc just by spending that you see what i'm saying like it, it can add up bro i know sometimes you don't get good shit in there but you it definitely adds up i promise you it definitely adds up now another thing is for the my career method i the my career method that i talked about in my last video people seem to not people seem to say it didn't work okay i was doing it differently than what i said back when i used to do the my career method i was doing it differently than what i said in the video okay i messed up my words i messed up the method and that's on me but today i got y'all boys so the first thing you need to do, I, right, you need to put your uh, settings and everything on pro five minutes, okay? Now look, you need to go into your second season of micro, all right? Some people will say 
that uh, you don't get that much VC for your first season. I know I said it wrong. I'm sorry. But you need to go into your second season. Right now, I'm in my first season because I really do not play my career. All right. This is on my old build, my old center that I used to have at the day one of the game. I used to be on a center build because my idea was I would make a center and then I would learn the meta and then I would make a guard because, you know what I'm saying? Most people don't know exactly what build for a couple months. You know what I'm saying? What, 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 that, what that sweet spot is, what that real deal money build is. So I waited, made this guard. I didn't play my career on it, but yeah. Now, the center I did, okay? The thing that I did is I would sim to the second season, okay? If you get endorsements in your first season, you're only going to get $1,000 to $2,000 or 2000 VC endorsements, okay? If you wait, if you go to the second season, you get up to 7,500 VC per event, 10K per VC, 10K VC per event, uh, 12.5K VC per event. That's the most I've ever seen is 12.5K, but you might be able to get more. You might be able to get 15K, I really don't know. But 12.5K is the highest I saw. Now, that's per event, okay? That is 10K more per event than the max in your first season. So what I would do is I would go in here and do that now. The method that most people do is they go in here and just so you don't get any minutes, you don't get your minutes to go up, you don't get your play time to go up, you know what I'm saying, all that type of stuff. You come in here and you just leave the controller. Like you just spam A if they pass you the ball, you know what I'm saying, get high teammate grade to get extra VC, but literally just spam A, get good teammate grade, play some defense, watch Netflix in the background, you know what I'm saying, sit here for like five to six hours and just stack up your endorsements, okay? As you are in your second season, you'll start getting those endorsements and then you come over here and in about five to six hours you can make upwards of 100k 200k by just sitting there watching netflix doing homework you know what i'm saying it, it doesn't take brains to play my career and not do shit you know what i'm saying you can just sit there and press a if you really wanted to you're still getting bc but to get the most possible i would still try to get a good teammate grade but don't get stats because then they'll put you in the game for longer now uh you come over here to your vc sports management as you can see my vc sports management is currently closed but if you're playing micro five to six hours straight you're going to come over here and get a big check i'm telling you right now it's a big check and it avoids you from having to stack your vc other methods it's just an easy simple brainless method if fucking i could teach a damn retarded squirrel how to stack their micro bread you know what i'm saying i'm like i'm like jordan belfort at a micro bread i could teach a fucking retarded dolphin how to do this shit okay i promise you now Another method is to play the Pro-Am 3v3, okay? You can play private. Some people say private doesn't give you VC, okay? I'm just saying that as a warning. You might not get VC for it. You can play normal Pro-Am and you get more than Park because I know that for a fact. I know I get like 1K a game every time I play Pro-Am and in Park I don't get that much. But you can play normal Pro-Am and you, I know you get VC for that. I know you get more than Park. So you can stack your bed in normal Pro-Am if you just want to play the game and have fun with your boys. Pro-Am is a very, very good method in stacking your VC. Now... If you are a legend or like elite, you start getting that two times VC bonus. Now, let me see exactly where it is. You start getting that two times VC bonus. Where is it at? Um, it's elite three. Elite three, you get two times on the VC. Okay, if you want to grind to elite three, you can grind to elite three. I know summer's coming up, so I know a lot of boys are coming home. They're trying to trying to stack their VC, trying to stack their breeze. All right. If you get to elite three, you will be getting like one to two K a game per part game depending on if you're winning depending on if your stats are good you know what i'm saying all that type of stuff your teammate grade you feel me all that type of stuff go into effect whenever you are trying to get vc in the park games but you can get one to 2k a game now say you play like 50 games you're getting 2k a game you're making 100k just off playing park okay that's like five hours of playing you made 100k all right now if you're getting like 2k a game you play 100 games you really really grind and you really low life and you're playing 10 hours a day you are making 200k a day by just playing park you know what I'm saying? All for 100 games. Like, that is a bag. Now, the secret that I do, okay? I have a build video on my channel already of the build that I am riding around on right now. But this is the last secret. It's not really a secret. It's the stage, okay? I know everybody's gonna be like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna throw my VC away. No, 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 no. I get it, bro. If you're not good, obviously don't come in here. But this is for the people that trust themselves and that want to get better. Now, this is a very important method and a very important step to upping your game to the next level as well. Okay, some people don't come in here because they're scared of the competition. Some people don't come in here because they're just scared in general. You have to come in here if you want to get better. You have to come in here and play people that are better than you to get better. This is what I do. You see this 1v1 court? That's 4.5k. Most of the time I get 25%. That gets me to about 5.1k a game on a game that I don't get any of the spin or any of the jackpot or whatever. You know how like the slot machine spins. If you get nothing, it takes a 400 BC tax away to go to the uh, jackpot, which is where. Let me see. Where's the where's the jackpot wall? Am I tripping? 
Is the jackpot wall just not here? But it was like 20 million last time I saw it. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. The jackpot wall was like 20 million. Yeah, 231 million. All right. You come in here and play a game, you might get 231 million BC. You feel me? Like, that shit is insane. 231 million. That's that's insane. But I literally just come in here and I play the one squirt now. This is some tips I have for you, okay? If you're going to come in here and you're new, okay? I'll be smart about it. I will go to the ones right here. I'll probably go, if you're going to play twos, I'll play the 1K court. If you're going to play threes, I'll probably play the 2.5K play right here. Um, or the 2K. I play the 2K. If you're warming up and you're trying to practice, I'll play these courts. All right? If you have, if you only have like 10K, come in here. If you lose one game, get up out of here, okay? Until you get better. You know what I'm saying? You can play these kids. You can keep playing them. Keep If you think you can beat them, pick your battles, basically what I'm trying to say. Pick your battles. Don't let your battles pick you, all right? Don't sit on the court and let some legends hop on and kick your fucking ass because they see your bots. All right, if you see another pair of bots, you're like, all right, I can beat them because, bro, there's bots in the stage. I'm telling you right now, people come here and they think they're good. They're not. Like, Green Rituals, I promise you, this kid's dog shit. If I ever catch him on a court, that's fucking free VC. Like, I'm fucking taking this kid's VC in a matter of seconds. 44 win percentage. I'm taking that VC in a matter of seconds. I and even these kids that are on the court, TTV Drip God, I guarantee you he is not that good. I almost promise you, TTV Drip God is not gonna be that good. Let's just check him out. TTV Drip God, let's just check him out. He has a 19 win percentage in the 2K Beach. Okay? A 19 win percentage in the 2K Beach. I I'm telling you that these people are really not that good. I these people are really, really not that good. So, you come in here, you can play these kids, bro. The only time you're going to have struggles is if you're playing those real good threes teams. I right? like st like when I play with Chad or I play with other people and they like try to pull up on us and drop us off, then you're going to be struggling. I right? I wouldn't come to the 1v1 court unless you're prepared to stop a center, prepared to cook a center. I the way I win is I literally do not give up the ball. If I give up the ball, I make sure I can get one to two stops on a post score or a game. Sometimes you can't get that one to two stops. So if you get the ball, you have to cherish it like it's your own child, bro. That ball is now yours. You are in custody of that basketball. You have to treat it like it is your own daughter, bro. I'm dead serious. If you give up that daughter, you might not ever see her again. You feel me? They might back your ass down and send you to the goose. You might not be back on the court. And then if you lose, you got to wait a whole three games. You feel me? But if you win, you got three games waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? Normally, I'll tell you right now if I can beat these kids. To be honest, I can beat any one of them. All right? It's normally the only time I have problems is a 7-3 max weight post scores that just bully me. But these people right here, I can get stops on. Interior finishers, I can get stops on. It's normally post scores, bro, that I have the issues with. But yeah, bro, that's how I really have been stacking my VC. I go on like 20 game streaks almost every single day on the 1v1 court, and it's just free VC. I, I'm i telling you right now, these are the best ways. I, I didn't miss anything. Also, when you're in Jeff's Arcade, you can do the daily pick them. That'll get you like 2K a day if you uh, pick your games right. But yeah, I, that's about it for this video, man. There's not too much about it. I will be dropping a VC and badge glitch tomorrow. I, the return of a Hanzi. I, I will be dropping a badge glitch and VC glitch tomorrow. I haven't dropped the badge glitch since 2K20, and that's if y'all are OG of this channel, y'all know that's used to that used to be all I used to drop. This is a one-time only deal because it is something that just has to be dropped. Okay, it's a real badge glitch. It's not like last year where I would drop shit. If it was like a method to get you an extra 1K a game, I would drop that shit. You know what I'm saying? This is a real deal badge glitch and a real deal VC glitch. But it, the VC glitch is not as good as the badge glitch. I'll tell you that right now. So this is the best way to get VCs. I wanted to drop this before I drop the VC glitch and then people will get mad. Da, 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 da. Cause I mean the VC glitch is okay, but it's not it's not too crazy. This is honestly the best way. And also that that other method runs you a chance of getting banned. This is all legit. You will not get banned for this. I I promise you. You will not get you will not get banned for this. Alright, but look, make sure y'all like the video up, sub up with those post notifications. I go live every day. And yeah. A hey, comment IRL A Cardi if y'all excited to see those IRL videos, man. But yeah, it's being boy Cardi, and I'm out. Ski peace.